I did not before necessarily see game design as a spiritual practice. It was something that I worked hard at, but now it is definitely a kind of a spiritual practice. Um, and I don't know if it's that because it's just me doing it and that's the way that I lean or whether, you know, whether there's really something there I'd try to show other people and say, Hey, come check this out. Still a little early to call that one in. You know, everybody has a different path to understanding what they understand, I think. And my particular one, you know, as I mentioned for, for a while, I was thinking a lot in very sciencey ways and I still do. Um, and one thing that thinking in very sciencey ways gives you is especially like low level physics, like, you know, quantum mechanics and stuff like that, or even, you know, general relativity. It, it, it makes you think about just like what, how could this world be constructed that it is the way it is, right? I mean, that's sort of the fundamental question of physics. But then if you also, if you have a little bit of a spiritual bent to you, you're maybe more accepting of certain things in physics than a lot of people are. Like, if you just look at what we know from science, then we know, for example, it's, it is known, right, that what we perceive as normal day-to-day -day happenings, like I get up and I eat breakfast and I make decisions and those decisions have outcomes, like at some level, it looks very likely like all of that's an illusion, just from science. Like you don't even have to get mystical in any way to come to that conclusion. Like general relativity tells you that. So, you know, once you see that, then you can start building models in your head. And, and once you start encountering, um, you know, s certain kinds of spiritual ideas, you can have these other models that are probably not right, but they're like analogies, right? Like, oh, you know, I can sort of think about what, what a universe outside of time would be like because I have these mathematical concepts and I have these scientific concepts that help me with that. So one way that game design, and it's certainly not the only way, but one way that game design can be a spiritual practice is to augment that kind of model making and that ability for personal visualization of spiritual concepts because you are building universes. And especially if you're doing the kind of experimental uh, changing of laws of universes, like I do often, then you're really, you're really thinking about them on a really fundamental level. Like what, what is created when I put things together in a certain way? And that is, can be a very deep question if you're willing to let it be very deep. And if you're willing to let it inform your everyday life and the way that you see the world.